There's the starry blending, guys. Look at that guy. <laughs> hey, guys. I got to go to the LFS for some medication. So let's pick up a couple of awesome new saltwater critters and get the medicine we need. Here we go. Five and a half gallon glass aquarium. All right. Let's go ahead and get the new invertebrates out of their packaging here. We'll get them inside this for drip acclimation. And I also got a piece of live rock so that um, I could just put it in a, in a small separate tank and just, you know, it'll be ready to go right away. So we got a cleaner shrimp. Got another one to add to the system. Go ahead and get this guy in there. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead now Get this guy down over here. Water goes there. And then we got some hermit crabs. Okay, now we go ahead and get these guys up here because I only have a certain amount of room. And we're doing drip acclimation. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put this end in the tank and this loop will allow us to um, change the flow rate. And we need something to hold this from coming out of the tank. And this is gonna do for now not going to stop the rate and it's going to keep it going. Okay, so now we got to just tighten it up, tighten it up. So there, see how it's just dripping in there like that? That's what we want. So now we're going to just let this go for a little while to help them get used to the new salinity and then get them to their new tank. So again, there's our drip. Check out that hermit crab. He just kind of went back into his shell. Yeah, he's slowly popping his head out. All right, so when we started, I think this was probably close to in the middle. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fill it up from here to here. So we're gonna go one time and then maybe uh, then pour a little bit out and then do a little bit more or maybe come up to here just enough to let them acclimate to the new salinity all right look at that that one's chilling out of its its shell all right so what we need to do now is get some water in this uh, five and a half gallon tank because we need to get the live rock in there what i'm doing is using some of the tank water from the display tank and um, when I make some more water, I'll just add a little bit more to the tank. Okay, we got our live rock here. All right, so since I was pulling water out of the tank, the water level obviously went down so that keeps tripping the pump. So I have it off and what I'm gonna do is, let's see here, also I'm gonna unplug the ETO. Once this drains back in here, I know how much salt water I gotta add back to the system, uh, you know, to get it going. And I got the power heads inside the tank going so the water is still going to be going and being you know moved around and filtered and all that good stuff oh there we go all right uh, we got all of our salt water made to replace the main tank 
and then we got this one for in here so we're going to just go and slowly add some more And I don't need this to be full because it's just for inverts. So I do want to pick this up because I don't want this to be full blast on the actual fish, but I need the water movement in here because of the um, because of the uh, rock and the live bacteria. Just enough where everything keeps on moving. We got this little piece of, um, I could actually put, probably put that there. All right, so we need to add all of the inverts to this tank because I'm treating the, um, I'm tra treating the display, or excuse me, the quarantine tank uh, for ick because one of the fish has ick in there. All right, and then we go ahead and Grab the hermit crabs. Oops. There you. Go. Yeah, see, they're going to be moving around a lot because of the because of the water flow, but we need it. Check out the hermit crab, guys! Look at that dude. You got that one right there. Shell slips up upside down. It'll eventually turn right way. And you got this guy right there. You can see the tiny little legs. This guy's awesome though. He's out and enjoying himself. There you go. You got the fire shrimp chilling over here. The biggest reason that I had to remove the fire shrimp is because they will not be able to live through a copper treatment. And uh, so I had to go to the LFS, pick up the copper. So I got this piece of live rock so that um, I can move the fire shrimp into its own tank. And while I was there, I had to pick up the cleaner shrimp, which you can see there, and the three scarlet hermit crabs. We got the two on the bottom and then the one on the top of the live rock. But yep, doing awesome. You can see this guy just kind of doing his thing moving those legs around <laughs> my plan is to buy one more um fire shrimp because i heard that they do better in like pairs like you see them more often otherwise they hide stunning shrimp look at that guy he's just like what's up Okay, we're going to go ahead and turn the power back on, power jet back on. Yep, get that water moving. It's 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 a it's a heavy current, but these guys do all right. They get to a spot where they're good and they could last well. And uh hermit crabs are doing good. Rock and rolling, guys. Okay, trying to get it for you could see when he turned right there. See the spots on the side? on the right side of his body there on near the top fin see the spots um the the top ones are, are bubbles i believe the other ones excuse me the ones on the fins are bubbles i believe but the other ones are not i caught the fish and they stayed on so no bubbles gonna stay on all right so let's take a look at the fish in here i had to treat the tank with copper that's why i had to remove the fire shrimp um, but you could see that, you know, the purple tang looks like all the icks off of it. Now it's just a matter of time, you know, keeping the concentration of the copper up and, you know, letting it go for a handful of weeks and just see how they do. And you can see there's the two yellow tangs doing well. Got the six line wrasse, got the long nose hawkfish, the Aptasia eating filefish is right there down in the corner there you can see the black cat basslet there's the starry blending guys look at that guy <laughs> oh man that guy's awesome he just hides out chills in the rock
So they're doing well post copper treatment. As always, thank you so much for watching everybody. If you could like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, that would be awesome. Comment down below what you guys think and um, yeah, stay tanked.